I feel the cold blade against my neck. He tells me, if you don't cooperate, I'll do you like I did the other two. He duct tapes me, and he carries me into the basement of his home. At some point, I hear his wife, and so I begin to make some noise in the basement. She sees me, and immediately, he's like a chastised little boy, and she takes control of the situation. He received a four-year sentence, and he came out after 21 months. My mother said, Shannon's missing, and I dropped to the ground. I said, we'll never see her again. I just saw my father collapse to his knees, and I knew that I was right in the fear that I felt. I kept thinking, no, it's, it can't be. So a phone call came in, and he said, I have kidnapped her, I have her. I kind of had hopes. There was that moment where you think, oh my gosh, she's alive, she's OK. The FBI traced it back to a phone booth. That was the one and only call. The case is still open, and no new leads are coming in. What happened to Shannon? Where is Shannon? Well, I created what I called a war room for this case. Started going through the file. I'm carrying this to the very end. Until this guy is no, no longer in existence, I will carry this fight. 